Hi Yogi, welcome to today's sequence. Today's class is all about moving and feeling, truly inhabiting our body. And we'll be creating space through breath, through movement. It's a really feel good, blowy, rhythmic vinyasa flow. Grab a hold of two blocks if you have got them. If not, no biggie, just use hard back blocks, anything to give you a little bit of height or elevation in the pose and I'll meet you on the mat. So we come onto the back, I'd like you to just arrive in Shavasana pose to get started. Take the arms, take the legs nice and wide and just relax. Take a moment to center yourself in for class. Physically separating wherever you just came from, arriving in stillness on the mat. And just visualize and notice the journey of your breath as it travels through your nose, through your throat, your chest, and towards the belly. Feel that slight rise and fall of the belly, the chest with each breath. And just allow the breath to flow all the way back out of the nose, giving you space to take new breath into the body. One by one, just begin to pick up the knees towards the chest. You can keep the eyes closed here. And just begin to embrace yourself, hug yourself in close. And then I'd like you to lower your feet towards the mat, but keep your knees bent. So you're in a bit of a bridge stance, little gap between the tips of the fingers and the heels. And then bring the hands to the belly. And from here, I'd like you to press down through the feet and then lift your hips up about halfway. So not into a full bridge just yet, just a little bit of elevation and just mainly focus on the breathing, so continuing to feel that breath in the belly and make sure you're pressing down evenly through the feet so the whole foot is flat to the mat. Now just start to lift your hips a little higher, maybe coming into a full bridge from here, the arms can just come down by the side of the body. Maybe you'd like to wiggle your shoulders in a touch and make sure you're working those adductors, squeezing the inner thighs, the bum muscles, the back of the legs, the hamstrings, creating that slide of the heels forward to keep you lifted up. We'll begin to move gently with breath now. So use your inhale to bring your arms back behind you, back of the hands rest. And use your exhale to softly bring the bum back down to the mat. Inhale, press through the feet, lift through the hips, arms back. And exhale, softly come down. Inhale, charge. And exhale. Lovely, one more, breathe in. And exhale, all the way back down. Bring the knees towards the chest. Lovely. From here, take the arms wide or in a cactus if you've not really got the space to do so. And then I'd like you to just bring your knees above your hips and your toes pointed forwards in line with your knees. Start to bring the knees towards the right, but don't drop them all the way. Just keep them hovered just above the mat. And if you can, really try and press your left shoulder blade down to the mat. Now as you hover the knees, begin to squeeze the inner thighs. And you should be squeezing them so much that you even begin to perhaps shake. And then inhale, bring the knees back into the center. Then use your exhale to just shift on the other side. Hover both knees just above the mat. And again, squeeze. Imagine you want to crush that block in between the thighs. from here take the knees above the hips again but then I'd like you to bring them the knees a little bit further forward so you've got a bit more of an angle between the knee and then the hip now this might be a little easier in terms of taking a bit of pressure off the hip flexors but you're definitely going to start to feel the front of the body so the core start to engage bring the arms up to the sky palms will face forwards 
Now I'd like you to lift your shoulders off the mat so the whole back stays flat apart from the shoulders. Begin to bring your arms back behind you, keep the shoulders lifted and depending on that shoulder mobility the hands might get a little closer to the mat but it's likely that the fingers won't touch as long as the shoulders stay lifted. Keeping the shoulders lifted let's start to move with breath. Inhale, arms lift, keep the shoulders lifted the whole time, exhale, arms back as far as you can go. Inhale, arms lift, exhale, arms back. Inhale, and exhale. Two more, breathe in. Exhale. Lovely, last one, inhale, and exhale. Drop the shoulders, drop the head, bring the knees to the chest, just give yourself a breath or two. And then we'll take the knees back above the hips, but this time bring the right forearm and then press the right forearm against the whole length of the right thigh. Then the left arm will reach back and the left leg will reach forward. Hover your left heel just above the mat, then begin to lift your shoulders. Now I want you to press your forearm into the thigh and press the thigh into the forearm. So you want to create that isometric um, contraction here. So the muscles are working, they're engaged but we're not lengthening or shortening the muscle. There's no movement at that joint. And it looks easy, but it's really, really not. Just because we're not moving doesn't mean it's not hard. Doesn't mean the muscles aren't engaging. And then we'll switch, okay? Left forearm to the left thigh, right heel hovers, right toes point, right arm reaches back. Remember to pop the shoulders up, press. Lovely, bring it in. Knees to the chest, exhale. Come up into a seat and then swizzle your way to come onto hands and knees. Now we're gonna take a few rounds of cat cow but with a bit of a twist. So it's not gonna be the traditional cat cow where we're on the hands, we're on the knees. We're actually gonna come down onto our forearms. So where your hands are, underneath your shoulder points, just go ahead and drop one elbow down at a time. So the elbows are stacked underneath the shoulders and then the palms come flat to the mat. Separate the knees again onto the hips and then just start to find your cat cow. Inhale, look up. Exhale, press and round. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, and exhale. Okay, a couple more just like this. Finding your own rhythm, finding your own breath. And you might feel a little bit restricted in terms of movement here, being on the forearms as opposed to being on the hands. And the reason for this is because when we do cat cow when we're on the hands, we tend to rely quite a bit on that bend in the elbows. So it kind of gives you a false representation about how much space you have in your spine, what your range of motion is for the flexion and the extension of the spine to the round and the arch. So by being on the forearms, it gives you much more of a true representation about how much space you have in the body. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, press through the hands, come up onto the palms. We'll just step back towards plank pose, press the ground away, spread the shoulders wide. Core is active, kneecaps are lifted, glutes are fired up. And exhale, make your way into tower facing dog little pedal into those heels walk it forwards one step at a time arriving towards the top of our mat lovely and when we come all the way forward to the top of the mat we're going to take a bit of a runner stretch yeah so i'd like you to bring the blocks just off the mat maybe in front of the feet keep your right foot rooted and then just step little micro mini step left toes step back and the left heel drops down now press into the heel of your right foot and lift your right toes. Now you might want to reach the blocks even further forward if you want to benefit from that side body stretch as well as a hamstring stretch or if you're struggling to kind of reach the ground just bring the hands a little further back closer towards um, the body. See if you can fall. So you want to focus on again pressing down through the right heel creating traction through the heel and then suction in that right thigh bone back but slightly sending the left hip forwards lovely take a breath in find a bit of length 
and then step the box forwards, little switcheroo of the feet, so left foot forward, right toes, right heel back, ground the foot, get ready, get steady, pop the left toes up, shift your weight back onto the left heel, adjust the box either further forwards, closer to the body, or even maybe flipping them down if you're feeling quite open. Inhale, a little length, and exhale, deeper fold. So you should really be feeling it in the back of your left leg, particularly the hamstring, the calf, maybe the back of the, the, the ankle as you're grounding and flexing. Okay, step it forwards, let go of the blocks, you can have them at the very top of the mat, bend the knees and then use your inhale to wave you up, take the arms up with you, look up. And exhale, unite the hands in front of the heart. Release the fingers by the side of the body. Shoulders roll back. Arms reach up to the sky again. Big breath in. Hands to the heart, close down the eyes. Just take a moment here to feel the weight of the body as it presses down into the air. Feel that grounding, that anchoring through both feet. And just notice the texture of the earth beneath you. As you blink the eyes open, use your next inhale to come into chair. Make sure the toes are together. We'll get nice and loud. Inhale. And then shoot it back. Straight legs, arms back. Inhale. Arms lift. Exhale. Inhale. And one more. Exhale. As you inhale, both arms reach up. Pause. Sit the weight into the heels. Now we want to drive that left knee tight towards our chest. Flex our toes. Send the left leg back. Breathe in here, don't hold the breath, stay with the breath. And as you bend the right knee, allow the left toes to drop and find the air. Then inhale, lift, open out the waist. Exhale, twist to the right. Some of you might be able to land your left elbow outside the right knee. Don't worry if you can't drop it. Rotate, twist the chest to the right. Keep the back left knee lifted, the weight pushing forwards. Inhale, bring the hands back. Close towards the heart, arms reach up. As you exhale, drop the back heel, wiggle the back foot, lunge into the front right knee. Nice opening in the inside. Press into the right heel as you take a breath in. Bring the right toes in and then flip the toes out, draw the heels in. Arms reach up, exhale, bend the knees, hands close towards the heart, really sit the weight down. Inhale, straight legs, arms reach up, gaze goes high. Exhale, back into goddess. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. And then one more, exhale, come down. Okay, when we're in goddess pose, we want a nice flat back, no sticky outy bums. Draw the pelvis forward and maybe come a little higher up if you're dumping the bum out the way. And slowly as you press into the heels, come to straighten the arms, reach it up high, breathe in. Back into warrior two, exhale. Wimble the hands to the mat and we'll take a fluid step back into chaturanga. Untuck the toes, pull your shoulders back into up dog or cobra pose. Roll over the toes and stand the hips up and back into downward facing dog, let go of the breath. As you look forwards, lift your heels, bend your knees, take a step or a jump, halfway lift, Ardhutanasana, inhale, fold down on the exhale with bent knees or straight legs. Arms sweep to the sky, grow tall on the breath in, now lower the hands to your heart and down by the side of your body. In Sukhutasana, straight back into chair pose, breathe in, arms lift, belly button forwards, exhale, straight legs, straight arms, inhale. Feel the energy flow through the tips of the fingers. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Inhale, arms up. And as you straighten into your legs, I'd like you to carry your right knee towards your chest this time. Hands towards your heart. Swing back on the exhale. And then again, just find the breath. Hold. Keep pushing the right heel back. Dropping the right hip down slightly. Engaging the left leg. Lunge into the left knee, drop the right toes. As you inhale, lift up and out the waist. Then use your exhale to twist to the left. 
Again, option to ground, right elbow, roots outside the left knee, and then use this anchor to rotate the chest. Make sure the belly is lifted away from the thigh and the right hip pulls back. The movement only comes from the upper body. Inhale, peel it back, arms reach to the sky, traditional high lunge. And then exhale, find your warrior two as the back heel spins flat, deep bend into the left knee. Inhale, press through the left heel, straighten the left leg. All 10 toes move in, arms come up. And then use your exhale, once the toes pivot out, heels draw in, hands to the heart, sit the weight into the heels. Arms wide, breathe in, look up. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, slice down the center. Inhale, big bubble, aura of positivity. Exhale. One more, sunshine around the body. And exhale, settle into goddess pose. Nice, strong, empowering, energetic asana. We open the hips and we strengthen the legs. Fierce like a goddess. Feel empowered in the pose, empowered in your practice. Straight legs, arms lift, breathe in, grow nice and tall. And then as you adjust the feet into warrior two, exhale, inhale here. Wave it down to exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana, look forwards, lower. Lift up, inhale, up dog, cobra pose. Downward dog, lift from the hips, exhale. And from Adam Svanasana, I'd like you to lift the heels high as you look forward, bend the knees. Step half, float or jump forward, halfway lift, breath, breath in. And exhale, soft bend in the knees or straighten up the legs. Arms sweep to the sky, inhale. Hands to the heart, release the fingers, exhale, samastihi. Inhale, arms up. We're going to find an eagle bind, so we'll start by wrapping the right arm underneath the left. Maybe the palms touch one another, and the right leg steps over the left. Option have to have the tips of the toes just on the mat. Some of you might be able to lift the foot and just place it outside the calf, or perhaps wrap it all the way around the back of the left calf. Move the forearms away from the face to spread the back of the body, and then exhale, sink the weight into the left heel a little bit further. Unravel the right leg. Inhale, send the right leg back. Flex the right toes. Balance. Exhale, lunge into the left knee, drop the right knee, untuck the back toes, wiggle the left foot about one step. Use your inhale to scoop the air up, lean back. Exhale, come to round, stay with the eagle wrap, maybe the fingers tickle the earth and come inside the left foot. Scoop it up as you lean back, use your inhale. And exhale, round forward. One more to lift. And one more to exhale. On the next breath in, bring the arms up and just step your left knee back to meet your right. Knees and feet are separated. Inhale, lean back. Bum to the heels, elbows in towards the body. Detox with each breath, inhale. And exhale, release. One more breath in. And exhale. Inhale to lift yourself up. Come to unravel the arms so the palms come up. One hand to the back of the hip, the other hand follows. And we'll create a big lasso with the arms now. So right arm will reach forward, push into the back of the left hip. Right arm wings over the ear. Bring it all the way back around. Switch, right hand, right hip, left arm over the ear. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bring it back around. Inhale, and exhale, open up the back body, one more on each side, breathe in, and exhale, one more time, inhale, bring that left hand back as you exhale, swizzle around to the center, inhale, bum to the heels as you exhale, arms reach wide, palms settle to the top of the mat, into child's, and we'll drag it through, so imagine you want to create a ripple, Pull it through into cobra, breathe in, slither into it. Exhale here. Kale your toes, lift your kneecaps, energize the legs as you inhale, shoulders pull back. 
exhale, press through the hands halfway to lift, inhale, and exhale, point the toes, squeeze the right bum cheek, inhale, and as you exhale, step the right foot wide, drop the back left knee. You can use your right hand to wing, push the knee, open the hips, slight rotation as you look over the shoulder, option to bend the back knee and grip the back toes if it's in your practice. Right arm reaches forward, gently release the left foot if you've gripped it. Press through the hands to lift from the hips, then spring off the back left toes, left foot steps wide of the hands. Both knees bend, sink the weight into the heels, scoop the bum forward as the arms reach out into that active squat. Engage the thighs, but open the hips. Arms reach to the sky as you breathe in, squeeze the bum. Gather the hands close to the heart as you exhale, wiggle the feet in so they touch. Now this left leg will cross just behind the back of the right. As you ground the heels, take a breath in, find a bit more length in the back of the body. Exhale, hinge from the hips, come down about halfway. Feel that nice stretch on the back of the hammies, especially the right one. Take another breath in. Maybe fold just a touch further to the mat. Option to use those blocks. Relax. As you lift up halfway, look forward, use your inhale. And then as you exhale, use this to bring you closer to the mat. Left knee drops just outside the right foot, left foot moves to this side, space for the bum to pop down. If you can't quite pretzel shape the legs into Adha Matsya and Dasana, you can always have the left leg so it's straight. Right hand behind the back of your hip, left elbow hooks around the right knee, or just outside the right thigh. And lift up as you breathe in, Rotate, exhale. Trying to get the belly a little closer to the thigh. Inhale. And exhale. One more to inhale. Mm, exhale. And we'll unravel. Left arm slices the air. Right arm follows. Down with facing dog. Exhale. Push the hips back. Look to your thighs. Right leg sweeps to the sky into three like a dog as you point the toes. Look to your left kneecap. Then look forwards, exhale, left, right knee to the nose. Step the right foot through, squeeze the inner thighs, come to bring the arms up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, drop the back heel, open the arms. Exhale, reach forward and over. Inhale, back into warrior two. Exhale to adjust the feet, warrior two at the front, right toes move in. Inhale, reach through the fingers, arm over the ear. Back into warrior two as you exhale, soft shoulders, open hips. Take another big breath in. And then use your exhale to wimble you down to that vinyasa, chaturanga. Exhale, through to the back bend, inhale. And back to downward facing dog, exhale, look to the thighs. And from down dog, we'll lift our heels as we look forward, bend our knees. Step or jump forwards. Find length in the body as you breathe in. Fold on the exhale. Arms reach to the sky. Udva hastasana. Hands to heart. Exhale. Arms up again. Breath in. This time left arm loops under the right. Eagle bind. Left toes step to the right. Let's cross it over. Perhaps lift the foot. Wrap it around the back of the right calf. And then pull the left shoulder back. Now you want to spread the shoulders to create space in the back of the body, maybe sinking down through the right knee. Waist is anchored in the right heel. Unravel that left leg, send the chest and the belly forward, flex the left toes, eagle bind warrior three, breathe in here. Right knee bends. As you exhale, allow your left toes, your left knee to ground. And then wiggle the right foot about one step. Scoop the air up, lean back as you inhale. Exhale, fingers come a little closer towards the mat inside of the right foot. Scoop it up, lean back as you inhale. And exhale, come forward. One more, scoop up. And exhale. This time as you inhale, scoop the air off, bring the right knee back to meet the left, knees and feet in line, arms lift, exhale, bum to the heels, elbows in, 
Again, inhale, engage the thighs, engage the glutes. And exhale, bring it down. One more, breathe in. Space. And exhale. As you inhale, lift up. Release the hands so the palms come up overhead. Then lower the hands behind the backs of your hips. And we'll engage the body, finding those lovely open and lassoes. Left arm forwards to begin. Lean back. Right hand supports the lower back. Exhale. Inhale. Right arm over. Exhale. Bring it around. Switch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, lovely, bring the hand to the hip, lift up, bum to the heels, arms wide, child's pose, exhale, inhale, drag it through to cobra pose, lift the chest, exhale here, inhale, curl the toes, lift the knees, exhale here, inhale, press halfway, not to down dog, just the plank. L exhale here, lift the left toes this time, inhale, squeeze. Exhale, step the left foot wide, drop the back right knee. Lizard, Utita Pristasana, left knee wings, open the hip, inner arch of the foot lifts, left shoulder pulls back as the gaze goes beyond it. Right toes maybe lift, maybe the left hand grips the right foot from the outside, kick the foot to create that space. Soft release. Inhale, left arm reaches forward, hips lift, and then spring off the back right toes, feet turn out, arms reach forward, active squat. Inhale, arms lift, bum cheeks squeeze, hands to the heart, wiggle those feet in, exhale. This time, right foot goes behind the left, inhale, lengthen, Halfway to exhale, bum pushes back, gaze goes forward, stretch out those legs. Inhale, exhale, maybe a little deeper, hands can stay to heart or they come onto blocks of the earth. Ushering our focus into each breath. And if the mind started to wander or maybe the thoughts have got a little clouded, just return back to your breath. Bending the knees, right knee steps just behind or outside the left foot. Drop the bum down. Remember, if you can't find this pretzel wrap, you can straighten that right leg. Right elbow hooks around or just outside the left knee. Use this as a prop to prop yourself up. Lift up and out the waist. Inhale and exhale. Look back. Two more breaths to deepen the twist. Lift up and exhale. Inhale, exhale, right arm slices forward, left arm follows, downward dog, breathe out, back of the mat, left leg shoots to the sky, three like a dog, point those toes, inhale, knee drives towards the nose, exhale, step the foot through, squeeze the inner thighs, arms lift, high lunge, inhale, exhale to sink. Inhale, drop the back heel, warrior two. Exhale, open over through the left fingers. Inhale, warrior two. Press for your left leg, bring your left toes in, send the right toes forward. Inhale, warrior two at the front. Exhale, open over through the right fingers. Back into Vibhadrasana, inhale. Exhale to Chaturanga. Exhale, lowers you. Inhale, lifts you. Down with facing dog, exhale. Slowly lower the knees to drop. And then just take a breath or two to come back in child's. And traditionally, child's pose is a place of rest, which of course I wanted to be. But just see if you can find a bit more opening in the hips by wiggling the knees wider, melting the chest, melting the he hips towards the heels.
look forwards, shift to the hands back as you inhale, lift yourself up, bring your knees in to kiss, right bum cheek to the side, swing the legs out in front of you. Now to start, we'll find Janu Sissasana, right foot moves up the inner left thigh, right knee flops to the side. Pull your left bum cheek back and slide your right hip forwards. Reaching the fingers up high, inhale. Exhale to find the fold. Halfway lift, a little bit more length. And exhale, fold. Fully surrender to the pose and just dedicate yourself to this moment. Try not think about what's to come next, what's to follow. Instead, just enjoy this moment, be absorbed by this moment. What's the point in enjoying and looking forward to the future if we can't simply enjoy the present, what's right in front of us? Inhale, look forward, tiptoe the fingers back. Now just allow your hips to open up to the right. So the right hand reaches behind the back of the hip and the left hand roots to the right knee. Press the lift, inhale. And look back to exhale. And look forwards, right leg straightens, left knee bends. Flop the left knee out to the side, root down for your right heel. Reach up for your fingers, Janu Sisasana on the other side. Exhale, little halfway lift to inhale. Refold on the exhale. Allow the body to release, to detoxify, replenish, rejuvenate. Tiptoe your way back as you breathe and little twist to the left. Right hand roots outside the left knee. Hips open to the side. But still press the right bum cheek up. Notice if the right bum cheek kind of wants to lift as you look beyond. Anchor the sit bones to the air. Twist comes from the upper body. Please slowly bring it back, look forwards. As you wiggle forwards, arms reach out in front, inhale. Use your exhale to roll you back. Bring the knees to the chest, and then we'll just wrap the right leg over the left leg. Find a full bind if you can, left foot can come down to the mat. We'll do the same thing with the arms, right arm under the left. Pop the toes off the mat, reach the fingers behind you, the toes forward, inhale. And then exhale to crunch in. Inhale, point. Exhale, inhale, tap, exhale, find two more, breathe in, tap, exhale, last one, inhale, tap, and squeeze, left foot down to the mat, unravel the right leg, unravel the arms, we'll go the other way, left arm under the right, left leg on top of the right, maybe wrap the left foot behind the calf, pop up the feet, reach the fingers back, tap, inhale, Squeeze the core, exhale, inhale, tap, exhale, inhale, squeeze, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, breathe in, and exhale, release, let go of the foot, take the knees to the chest and begin to take big open circles, draw the knees around, and the other way around. some stillness, whether that's in a Supta Bhadakanasana or Shavasana, Yogi's choice. Noticing how we feel right now. Perhaps you feel energized, lighter, 
a little bit more present or even a little bit happier. Just knowing that in some way this practice has changed you. And just drift off into Shavasana with gratitude. Feeling proud as well of everything you've accomplished today.